Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be talking about integer constants. So, what's an integer constant? I'm going to show you guys an example of that right now. An integer constant or integer literal is made up of optional leading sign, one or more digits, and an optional suffix character called erratic, indicating the number base. Erratic may be one of the following uppercase or lowercase. A, the erratic H represents hexadecimal. The erratic Q or O represent octal. The erratic D represents decimal. The erratic B represents binary. The erratic R represents encoded real. The erratic T represents decimal alternate. The erratic Y binary. I'm sorry, the erratic Y represents binary alternate. Now, basically, what this means is when you're coding in uh, assembly language programming, if you if you want to uh, distinguish whether a group of numbers is a hexadecimal, octagonal, deci decimal, or binary, you got to use these uh, radics at the end of the uh, number. Otherwise, it's going to assume that the, the number is a, a decimal. So I'm going to show you guys an example of that right now. Here are some examples using different radixes. Now, 26 without a uh, radix is assumed to be a decimal. 26D with the radic D is a decimal. This group of binary numbers here, 1101001B, is assumed to be a binary because it has the radic B. 42Q is assumed to be an octal. Now 42O is also an octal. 1AH is a hexadecimal. And 0A3H is a hexadecimal. Again, if, uh, if a number doesn't have a radic, it's assumed to be a decimal. And when you're running the program, it's going to treat it like a decimal. Otherwise, you got guys got to use the radixes. Now, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.